Hello friends, here is a detailed video of how to use a ultrasonic pre-chopper in hard cataracts. This is a tip introduced as an IOL cutter by Dr. Neha Dholakia and it has a cutting edge at the V groove in the distal end. This tip can be attached to any FACO machine and used as an ultrasonic pre-chopper. This tip is like a FACO tip but it does not have any bore. So vacuum is not needed while performing pre-chopping with this tip. And because of this the aspiration rate has to be in the range where you can maintain your anterior chamber comfortably without having too much increase in your IOP. So it can be kept around 20 to 40 and with a vacuum of 0 or some machines don't allow a 0 vacuum so you can keep the setting to 5. Over the tip you can use your sleeve as per your incision size. I usually use a 2.6 mm incision size and having the sleeve for the same. You have to be careful while fixing it. These are the machine settings with aspiration rate of 26, vacuum 0 and a continuous power of 40. I am debulking the nucleus so that I can have a better view and the cortical material will not hinder my visualization while performing pre-chopping. Manipulation of nucleus with the left hand is very crucial. I am having a sustainer in left hand which is having a ball point tip so that it will not injure the capsule while handling. You just have to support the nucleus with a ball point tip sustainer so that you can have a stabilized nucleus and pre-chopper can be used safely. I have debulked the nucleus of cortical material to have a better visibility. Now after entering the anterior chamber and stabilizing the nucleus with left hand, I am entering with FACO power on in the substance of nucleus so that I will have a good grip and ultrasonic pre-chopper moves forward and the chopping is complete. Half of the nucleus is already divided. I would like to complete this by rotating it 180 degree and completing the first chop here. Again rotate the nucleus in orientation so that you can start to have a second pre-chop. Here you got your second pre-chop. Going under the CCC is quite difficult for few people but with practice you can do it. Start rotating your nucleus before FACO so that you will get used to with this step. All these four pieces are done. The beauty of this technique is you can divide the nucleus not only into four pieces but more than four pieces up to eight very easily. The time duration taken for the surgery is definitely increased by nearly two to two and half minutes for me but it is worth in cases of heart cataract where the safety is more important than two minutes extra. You can see I have divided the nucleus into eight pieces quite comfortably. The flow was on so anterior chamber was stable even during pre-chopping. Now again visco is injected in the anterior chamber and you can note each and every piece is well separated. Now I have shifted to a routine FACO probe and you can note that each and every piece is well separated and can be taken out very easily with the help of probe. This technique can save a lot of endothelial loss during phaco emulsification in hard cataracts.
ultrasonic pre-chopper is not required in softer cataracts. Viscoelastic used in all my cases is HPMC, but in initial cases you can use a higher density viscoelastics which will help to manage the case well for the beginners. This case is almost unedited. Do subscribe to a YouTube channel Dr. Pankaj Landai for more such exciting videos. Thank you and good day.